Last week, we talked with Democratic Party Chairwoman Martha Lanning about her party's efforts to start winning elections again. Lanning mentioned the 2018 election cycle and spoke optimistically about Democrats' chances of unseating Governor Walker, should he decide to run for a third term. But last week's news didn't make the Democrats' job any easier. Projected tax collections were up, projected spending down, meaning the state could be looking at a decent-sized surplus. There's even talk of a tax cut. Also down, the state's unemployment rate. It now stands at 4 percent. That's the lowest figure in 16 years. And the governor's political organization announced that the governor had paid off the debt from his bid for president. He had to sell his donor list to help do that, but the bottom line is that the debt is gone, setting Walker up to start raising money for his next political race. All in all, it was a good week for Walker, who spent some time in Washington for Donald Trump's inauguration. It wasn't the trip to Washington that Walker had hoped for two years ago when he started his quest for the White House. But if Walker was disappointed, he wasn't showing it publicly and instead sounded and looked like a man focused on a task he knows well, running for the state's highest office again. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Uche, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront. You can see today's program on our website. Just click on the Upfront section of WISN.com.